some false alarm of their own. But luckily for the world, Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov is the officer in charge that night. He's supervising an early warning station near Moscow. Near midnight, all is quiet. But Petrov knows that the Cold War tensions are running high. In 1983, the Soviet leaders genuinely had some belief that Ronald Reagan, the American president, was a warmonger who was itching to launch an attack on the Soviet Union. Suddenly, the station receives a signal from a Soviet defense satellite. Five American Minutemen missiles are airborne, racing toward the Soviet Union. Protocol dictates that Petrov immediately contact the Kremlin, but he hesitates. Petrov suspected that maybe this attack wasn't real. He didn't believe the United States would be attacking the Soviet Union with just five nuclear missiles. Consulting the base's technicians, Petrov learns that no other sensors detect any incoming missiles. He fears that if he alerts his paranoid superiors, they'll launch a nuclear counterstrike in response to an attack that may not be fact, but fiction. So Petrov, this mid-level Soviet officer, took it upon himself to do nothing. He didn't call the Kremlin. If Petrov is wrong, he's just doomed his country. Turns out, of course, that Stanislav Petrov was correct. It was a false alarm. And by not sounding the alarm to the Kremlin, he may have saved the world from nuclear destruction. Later, the cause of the incident is discovered. The satellite had mistaken the light and heat from the sun for the hot exhaust gases of five missile launches. These false alarms on both sides taught everyone a lesson that there had to be people involved in the early stages of a possible missile attack to keep from overreacting or launching a retaliatory attack for real against a false alarm. The two leadership groups began to talk to each other. CIA and the KGB set up a private channel where they could exchange notes and say, hey, we're not doing this. This is a drill. And it worked. But the day-to-day -day business of preparedness in the nuclear age is a tall order. 